Good morning, peeps. I'm, today I'm back at Suffolk Water Park. I haven't been here for a while. I'm in a traditional lake and I'm going to give it a go for some skimmers and bream. I'd like to call them bream, really. But here I am. That might be a bit awkward for you to start with because the sun is right on the water at the moment. Let's see if I can shade it a little bit to help. But this is Peg 10. I've got a bush here and I've got my feeder rod set up. I'm going to be on the method again. I'm going to be casting just out here, just beside that island. Can't go too close because there's bushes there. I don't want to lose any tackle today. Right, and I might put a pole kit down here, about eight metres, just over there somewhere. All right, so I'll get back to you in a minute. Well, just before I do, I'll show you my bait. It's very simple. There's me pellets, and they got the yellow sensate on them. These are the micros. They're just about ready. Yeah, they're just right, look, perfect. I'll get my baits out and let's go. <laughs> Catch you in a bit. Right then, let's get out for our first go. I've checked the distance, that's okay. There's my feeder. It's a 30 gram matrix method feeder. And it's got a red fat boy Fuka on it. I'm gonna go towards that island a little bit. It's a little bit awkward at the moment with the sun in my eyes. Let's see what's out there. That's the first out. Chuck out, let's go. Put my stopwatch on. Just time it, see how it goes. Tighten that, move that round a little bit. So I'm not looking into the sun for the tip. Move the landing net out of the way. And we're fishing. Ooh, my wrist, let's try it out. <laughs> my wrist, as some of you know, I badly sprained my wrist. And I've had a tooth out, so the jaw is still a bit tender. <laughs> oh, lovely life getting old, isn't it, eh? We're fishing again. Right, hopefully I'll catch you in a minute. <laughs> well, we're in. Seven minutes. Yeah, I feel like a bream. Woohoo! Have to put my shades on because the sun is right in the water here at the moment and it's very hard to see anything. We're in. Yeah, nice looking bream. Got him. Right in the bottom lip, perfect. And as you can see, there's a yellow fat boy fugar. Right, let's get that over there out of the way. Hope you can see that okay. That's a nice start, isn't it? Oh, ho, ho, ho. perfect. He's got his spawning nodules on there, it's like sandpaper. That'll do for stars. Perfect. Noisy old things, aren't they? <laughs> it's that time of year, I think. Well, let's see if I can get another one out there. Got that lovely bream earlier. I had a touch on the last cast. Let's see if I can get one on this one. A bit longer and I can get these glasses off. I don't like wearing sunglasses very much.
beautiful day though. Hard frost this morning, but it's lovely now. Ooh, lovely sun, it's beautiful. Lovely sitting here. Yeah, after that fish I got a liner. So there's fish out there, just hope to get them. <laughs> Birdies are singing. Spring is definitely here, all the buds on the trees look lovely. Well, that's in straight away, look. Perfect. One minute, 58 seconds. And I think I missed that bite. <laughs> Yeah, another nice bream. Right, Lee. Get your rod up, look, and bring it straight to your net, mate. Lovely. <laughs> another nice bream on there. Oh, do well. Perfect. Oops, got it in the net. Get off her. Oh, 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 oh. Nice bream, innit? Do well. Perfect. <laughs> What's that? A good three pound. Just wipe my hands before I get it all over the land in it. <laughs> start. Lovely, that's loaded up again. Let's see if we can get another one. Slightly to the right that time. Still will leave it. You have to be a bit careful in here. There's some big, big carp in here. 30 pounders in here. Uh, the lady who owns the place told me this morning, she come past a little while ago, as a young boy ran on peg 15. I think she said it was yesterday. He was float fishing and he had two, uh, sorry, three 20 pound carp. <laughs> young lad, so that's good of him, wasn't it? Let's see what I can get on this one. Here we go. Here we are again. I was just putting a bit more water on my pellets because the sun is lovely and warm here. So drying my micros out slightly. Lovely. Got a chunky bream, that one. Oh. 
Oh, hook's come out in the net. <laughs> it's even better as they say, isn't it? Get it at the net at the way. It's a chunky bream. <laughs> look at that. Lovely. Oh, he's fat. Look at that, look. Oh, who ate all the pies, mate? You did, I think. <laughs> Perfect. Going well now. Lovely. Get out again. Slightly straighter, but set my stopwatch just to see roughly what time it is when they feed. Oh, it's a bit of a habit as well, more than anything. It's different in matches and stuff. You want to see how long it takes or how long to leave it in. If they come before 10 minutes, that give you an idea. I suppose if you get one before 10 minutes and then. If you don't get a bite after 10 minutes, just bring it in and cast it out again. Or we'll put feed in the swim, don't it? This is the beauty of feeder fishing. <laughs> you can relax a bit more with a cup of tea. You can't do it so well when you're pole fishing. Um, I should have my new pole, hopefully by the time I fish next week. I'll do a video on it for you. So you can see it. Um, it's been a bit of hoo-ha about it because <laughs> somebody made one about it and slated it a bit. <laughs> but there you go, I won't mention any names. Um, yes, so if any of the gear I'm using, I'll put a link in the description below and you can have a look around. It's the Horizon Pro Distance, the Matrix Horizon 4000 reel and all the Fuka baits I use. At the moment, today, I'm using this one on my feeders and pellets. It's the yellow Fuka Sensate, as you can see. It's worked so far, it's got me three bream. And this is about oh, three bream, so that's what, six, that's me six, no, this is my seventh cast, so it's not frantic, but I'd never cup of tea, can't I? Lovely old jubbly, <laughs> and the sun's out, and I'm fishing again. I, I think I missed nearly three weeks. Yes, I'll show you how to use the hook tire and loop tires, but better to be out fishing. Catch you in a bit, hopefully. <laughs> Come on, fishies. Won't be long, I'll be able to take these sunglasses off. I'm not that keen on wearing them, but I had to really, because that glaring all the way across here, right up in my eyes. Here we are. Oh, yes, here we are. Lovely. My line just caught a bream out there. That was only up there about 10 yards. <laughs> it made it flick on the top. Caught it with my line as I lifted up on this one. So weird. Feel like another nice bream. Just take it easy. Yeah, another nice bream. Yeah, 
Come on, my little booty. Yeah, look like the biggest one of the day so far. Brilliant. Yes, that is the biggest one of the day. Come on, mate, off a feeder, that's it. Lovely, let's get him round so you can see him. Put him round here so you can see me. That's a booty. Now, don't start flapping about, mate. <laughs> you are, aren't you? Yep. I suppose you're angry because I caught you, aren't you, mate? Be still. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Oh, lovely old slab. Too nicely. Is that number four, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's okay. I didn't stop the stopwatch, but that took all that time. That must have been 10 minutes ish, I reckon. Well, then that's too much, but. What a good day back. Oh. Right, let's put another yellow neon on. That's why I had that last one on. And my favourite bayonet way of catching them. What I do is put that on like that. Push that through. There we are. First, flatten it out. Push it in there like that. Get my favourite wire doing it as well, put the hook up right. Pad them around it like that. Put plenty on top so they can give them plenty of feed to find. And as you can see, the pellet is just in there. In the last couple of fish, I've actually put some of this on it. Just a couple of dribbles on it. Like that. If I can see, my eyes are watering because the wind's got up. Yes, yeah, fair wind got up now. Or breeze, I say, not wind. Get the lid back on so I don't spill it. <laughs> you don't want this on you, it stinks. <laughs> Lovely smell though for the fishies. Right, that's how I'm baiting up. Let's get out again. Just like that. Let's see if we can get one this cast. Let's see if this one bring one. What a lovely song that little old birdie's got. Can't see what it is yet. He's right in that tree in there, keeps singing away. Nice place to be sitting here today in this lovely sun. Just want that tip to go round. Go on, boom, boom. <laughs> Breeze has got up a little bit, but it's not too bad. We don't want it too calm for Bream. If I can get a word in around that birdie, mind you, I don't mind that. <laughs> He's up there somewhere, singing away.
we're in again. Oh, ho. it's caught me by surprise. I was just <laughs> living the lovely scenery around, and I looked down and rod was bent in halves. <laughs> Oops, that's why you see. Look, <laughs> never mind. Another bream with the feels of it. I can feel it doing the chug, chug, chug. Oh, yeah, let's turn it around a little bit so you can see. On a white fat boy that time. Uh, here we are again. Lovely. Not quite so big, but nice bream all the same. Aren't you, mate? Hoo -hoo. <laughs> Clean me rabs so I don't dirty me landing it. Pole up. Wanna? Ho ho ho. Here we go, we got a bite. Yeah oh, yes, we're in. I had to do a voiceover on this one. <laughs> I would put a bit of charge into the microphones and forgot to turn them on. That's a nice little bite. Yeah, you can feel it little chugs. You can tell us a bream. Chug chug. Breeze got up just a little bit now, just to put a ripple on the surface. You don't want it flat calm like it was when I first started. Yeah, a little bream. Just a little one this time. Gotcha. Yeah, hook came out in the net, lovely jubbly. White Fuka bait again, fat boy Fuka. There he is, smallest one of the day. Almost a silver bream, but not quite, but do nicely. Lovely old jubbly. Well peeps, the fishing's gone off, so I'm gonna go off. <laughs> so if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the video at the bottom and even subscribe if you want to that's free anyway they're going off the feed so i'm going to get my feed when i go home so catch you again thank you very much for watching bye bye for now